Hello and welcome in everyone. This is another episode of Omni Sports where I react and learn about international sports content. I'm an American, which means I don't know as much as I should about other sports, so consider this me getting an education. I previously reacted to a different cricket like explainer video, but people told me that this is a better uh, video to react to. And I've already, already reacted to a video on this particular channel where I watched a rugby co comparison to NFL football. And and this will be uh, the equivalent, but for cricket and baseball. And so I'm sporting my my Dodger 50th anniversary um, uh, hat in honor of it, Dodger blue. So uh, um, here, here we go. So we're going to get started and we will jump right into this reaction. And hopefully I'll have a better understanding of cricket so I can start making more cricket react content and kind of know what's going on because I don't think I'm ready yet to watch a match because uh, um, I... I'll, I think I think I'd still be confused and that's probably not as fun to watch so maybe me being confused is fun to watch I don't know anyways here we go and if you already know baseball all right to get this started I want you to imagine a game much like baseball except there are only two bases and they're basically where home plate is and where the pitcher's mount is to score a run in this game you simply have to reach the next base so if you put the ball in play and you make it to the pitcher's mound, that's a run. And then if you're able to make it back to home plate, then you score two runs on that play. This game is played in the middle of an oval, so there's no foul area. You can hit the ball behind you, you can hit it to the side or whatever. And in this game, the pitch... I, I don't know why, I just I just love the shape of a cricket field and like the Australian football field. I just love that oval. It's like, feels like theater of the round. It feels like pure spectacle. I don't know. I. I like it a little more as a shape than like more of the boxes that we deal with, but that's just me. That's, we need more round sports in America. We don't. We have round balls, but not round sports. I gotta. I gotta work on my phrasing. Anyways, let's continue. Pitchers are allowed to bounce the ball. If you can picture this game in your mind, you are 75% of the way to understanding cricket. The rest of it is details. Okay. Before cool. we get started, I just want to say that I'm already I'm going to be explaining this like I would to a friend of mine who knows baseball and wants to know about cricket. I'm probably going to be switching between baseball and cricket terminology a little bit more freely than maybe somebody who's a hardcore cricket fan might be comfortable with. Feel free to correct me in the comments, but what might be more fun... Also, feel free to correct me in the comments if I say anything wrong or stupid or... Just correct me. Correct me. Make me better. I want to be a better person. Is if you made a companion video that explains baseball in reverse. All right, let's get started. Basic gameplay. So cricket is a game played between two teams of 11 players. When 11. a team is fielding, all 11 of its players are on the field at the same time. Nine players are out in the field at the various positions. And then there's one bowler, who is basically the pitcher, and one wicket keeper, who is basically the catcher. And then the team that is batting has... I, uh, I'm a, I, I like to bowl. I bowl competitively. I just, unfortunately, earlier today, lost in my league's quarterfinals, which I don't know if I'll ever recover. This, I, I'm watching videos about another sport so I can feel better about my, my losing in my own sport. That's how we deal with pain. We discharge it into sports. Anyways... Bowling pin. Let's go. Ah! No, I went back. What did I do? I think we're like here. Yeah. No, we're like here. I'm gonna get it together. Yes, bowler. That's that's where I got distracted. I I listen. Listen. You came here for the hot mess. If you if you wanted not hot mess, why'd you come? Here we go. And one wicket keeper, who is basically the catcher. And then the team that is batting has two players at bat at any given time. These batters stand at opposite ends of the pitch, which is a narrow rectangle that's in the middle of the oval that is the cricket field. At the ends of the pitch are two wickets, which are these little structures that have three stumps and two bales. The stumps are the three pieces of wood that are in the ground, and the bales are these two little pieces of wood that rest on top of the stumps. A play begins when the bowler, which is basically the pitcher, bowls the ball to the batter. The bowler is ultimately trying to break the wicket, which would get the batter out, and more on that later. The batter is trying to protect... I will say, 
I love the the explosion from the wicket. It's like it feels dramatic. It's like a firework. Like I got you, mother. I got you, mother. Effort. Anyway, I I will bleep that out in post. Tech the wicket and put the ball in play. If the ball is put in play, and the batter and the teammate are able to switch places, so basically assume the other one's position, the team has scored a run. And if they can do that again, then they score two. And if they can do that again, they score three, etc. There are no strikes in cricket. The batter can just choose not to swing if they don't want to. And there's no penalty for hitting a batter with a legally thrown ball. Batters are expected to protect the wicket and not let themselves get hit. In fact, as we'll see in a little bit, there are actually situations where a batter can be called out if they allow themselves to be hit with the ball. There is the equivalent of a ball in cricket. It's called a wide. And if the umpire has determined that the bowler has bowled the ball wide, one run is awarded to the... Dang, that is a, that is such an aggressive penalty compared to what you, you'd get in a American sport. <laughs> if you slightly miss, it's like, okay, you do that four times. Like, you'd have to do that 16 times in a row in baseball to, 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 get, to get a run. Uh, here it's just once so uh, get it together oh gosh darn it I did it okay we're, there we go I think we were here okay awarded to the batting team there's also something in cricket called a no ball which is when the umpire has determined that the ball has been delivered illegally and there's a couple dozen different reasons why an umpire might call a no ball if the umpire calls a no ball just like a wide one run is awarded to the batting team. In cricket, the batters stay on the field until they are out. So they continue to bat and score runs until they are. Man, if I, if my, my partner and I just kept doing so well, I'd be like, oh God, we, why are we, why are we killing them? I'm just so tired. I'm tired of being good. Like that, that would be my reaction at least, but that's probably why I don't play that sport. Are put out. This means that just like in baseball, a batter can be out with one single swing of the bat, or they can stay at bat, I guess, I guess forever. But it's common for a batter to score between like 20 and 50 runs in an at bat, and it's not unheard of for a batter to hit 100. This is called a century, and it's very. You can score 100 points by yourself? Oh, that, oh, that's, that's crazy. But like, imagine you you get out on the first the first the first the first bowl. Oh my goodness, that would be that would be so embarrassing. Very fun. The boundary along the perimeter of the cricket field is the boundary. All right, we're back. My sound stopped working. This this video is a train wreck. It's so am I. But you know what's not this. Is, the video I'm reacting to, you're doing a really good job. I'm not. <laughs> Go watch their video. Go support them, because I'm... Uh... The boundary. Along the perimeter of the cricket field is the boundary. This can be a rope or a little cushion type thing, or it could be a short fence or a wall. When a ball... I imagine that this is something a lot of people struggle with, because a lot of people struggle with, with boundaries. I am on one in this video. All right, let's Always continue. put in play, and it reaches or goes past the boundary. That is called a boundary. <laughs> a ball that rolls and hits or passes the boundary or bounces over the boundary like a ground rule double is worth four runs for the batting team. A ball that is hit over the boundary, so basically like a home run, is worth six runs for the batting team. Wow. Bouts. There are several ways that a batter or runner can get put out in cricket, and they boil down to two basic categories. A batter can be caught out, which is just like baseball. They hit a ball in the air and a fielder catches it. Or they can be out if the fielding team knocks the bails off the stumps of the wicket when you are in a position where that could put you out. There's a few different ways this could happen. You could be run out. This that is play where was you so are cool. trying to score a run, but they knock the... No, no. I, you're teaching me. Oh, gosh, right? did I just miss the replay of that play? And I'm seeing this again. That, that play was so cool. I want to see that. They hit a ball in the air and a fielder catches it. Or they can be out if the fielding team knocks the bails off the stumps of the wicket when you are in a position where that could put you out. That's There's so a few cool. different ways this could happen. 
You could be run out. This is where you are trying to score a run, but they knock the ball into the wicket before you reach the crease that defines the place where you are safe. By the way, the bat is part of your body when determining whether or not you are safe. You can be bold. I can't think of a single sport, American sport, where the, the equipment is considered part of your body. I mean, I guess obviously like your shoes, but like you can't, <laughs> can't x-ray vision, but like, huh, that's cool. I like it. I'm, I'm on board. I'm just not used to it. But just because I'm not used to it doesn't mean it's bad. It could be very good. Out. And these are very exciting. This is where the bowler sends the ball to you, and the ball bounces past you and knocks the bales off the stumps. A batter can also be put out by the wicketkeeper. If the batter moves past this line here called the pop increase, and the wicketkeeper gains possession of the ball and knocks the bales off the stumps. This is called being stumped out. A batter can also be called out if they allow the ball. They sure got me stumped. That's not even a pun. I'm just, I'm just saying the phrase. What am I doing? Ball to hit them, and the umpire determines that the ball would have knocked the bales off the stumps if the batter had not interfered with their body. This is called a leg before wicket. So those are the most common ways that you will see a batter or runner get put out by the fielding team. There are several other much less common ways for a batter to get out, and we will not be getting into them here. Thank you. One <laughs> major difference between baseball and cricket is in cricket, if the fielding team thinks that they have gotten a batter or runner out, they first have to appeal to the umpire who will confirm whether or not the batter or runner is out. So if a batter or runner would be out, but no one on the fielding team notices it, then play just continues and the umpire will not just like call them out. When a player is put out, the bowling and fielding. That's also, that's also very, that's, that's very like you, would, you would never see that. I feel like, I mean, in American sports, if they'll point at things that the referees to try to get them, you know, excited or like not excited, but to get them to make calls, but you wouldn't have to be like, Hey, this thing happened. Ref do, do your job, right? The ref is, makes the calls first that's interesting i wonder if it's just because you go so long between like potential outs that that you 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 let them call it because <laughs> the, the otherwise the umpire is just like too i don't know too too aggressively focused for too long and when you have like multi-day matches that could be too much i don't know i'd like to know why just write that in the chat if you know the team is said to have taken the wicket and the batting and running team is said to have lost the wicket. Overs. Each series of six pitches or deliveries, which are called balls, is called an over. Each over has only one bowler, and each bowler only bowls one over at a time. So after a bowler has delivered six balls, they take a position in the field, and another player comes in to be the bowler for the next over. A bowler can field for an over and then come back to bowl again, but a bowler may not bowl two consecutive overs. If you're comparing this all to baseball, overs are similar to individual at-bats in terms of the flow of the game, right? It's like one series of deliveries that everyone's watching, and then there's a brief pause while a new player comes on, and then there's a next set of deliveries that everyone's watching. The difference, of course, is that it's the, the bowlers, the pitchers that are coming in and out and not the batters. That's really Formats. interesting. Beyond everything that has been explained. That's so interesting. Because, like, that requires more people. Like, and, 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 like, American baseball, like, pitching is so specialized. You know, like, that that's all you do. And, like, you you know, with the designated hitter in both leagues now, like, some people just hit. I mean, that's all they do. So, here you really don't, you can't specialize as much in that way. So far, the majority of the details of the game that you watch will depend on the format of cricket that you're watching. There are two basic formats of the game of cricket. There's first class cricket and there's limited overs cricket. First class cricket is what a lot of people think of when they think of cricket. We're talking about the games that go on for several days. Everyone is wearing white. Maybe the queen shows up. And first class cricket is most associated with the five day long test matches that international teams play against one another. They're scheduled for five days, but they might be completed before that. 
At the beginning of the first day, there is a coin toss to determine which team goes first, and then the sides alternate going through their entire batting order. This happens twice, so each team goes through its batting order twice for a total of four innings, unless the team that goes second scores more runs than the team that went first, in which case they don't have to actually finish their entire innings. They just win the game. That was very simplified. The it's the same way in baseball if you're winning. <laughs> like, you don't need offense to come up if you're at home and your team is up in the ninth. Rules governing test matches could be their own 15 minutes. Oh, in, in, Ameri- in, uh, in American baseball, if you're the home team always bats second. That's just always how it is for for those who might know cricket but not American baseball. Video. The other format of cricket is limited overs cricket, where each team is limited to a certain number of overs and each innings comes to an end when the specified number of overs has been reached or when all of the batters are out whichever comes first there are several types of limited overs cricket but there are two that you are most likely to see the first of these are the one day internationals or odi these are played between national teams and each team has 50 overs and then there's also t20 cricket which is 2020 cricket where both teams get only 20 overs. This style of cricket was invented to be more exciting and more fast paced and to put the length of an individual match around the same as other common sporting events around the world. An easy way to know whether you're watching a test match or a limited overs match is whether the teams are wearing white or colors. And if you are watching a professional match, you're almost definitely watching a T20 match. Scorekeeping. All right, pay attention because this is maybe the most confusing part of all of this, the scorekeeping. So at the bottom of the screen, you'll see it says India, and then it says 118. I'm really worried about this. It, 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 so far, I've been able to follow along, I think, pretty well, but it's never, it's never a good sign when the person's like, who's doing a good job of explaining it, is like, by the way, this part's going to make very little sense. Good luck, bro. Thanks for five. This does not mean that the score is 118 runs to five runs. No, this means that India has scored 118 runs for five wickets, which means that five of their batters have been put out. Then it says first innings, so this is the first innings of this match. Then it says England 287, so that's how many runs England scored in their innings. And since this is a test match, both teams will play two innings. Then you've got information about the two batsmen that are currently up and how many runs they've scored so far then at the end it says broad zero for 24 this means that broad the bowler has taken zero wickets so far and has allowed 24 runs and then the 15 o'clock over there that's just the time of the day it's 3 p.m now for a limited overs match there's a little bit more information that you need to know so here you go down at the bottom it says england this is another game between England and India. It's a women's game. So it says England 103 for four. So that means that they've scored 103 runs for four wickets. P2, don't worry about what that means yet. Then it says 24.3 of 50. That means that we are 24 overs and three deliveries into this innings. And then the 50 means that this innings will have at most 50 overs, right? Because this is a one day international. Then it says target 222. This means that India went first and scored 222 runs. So that's how many runs England has to score to win. And from there, it's pretty much the same as the test match we just saw. Just be careful because if you're watching an Australian broadcast, the scores are reversed. The wickets are first and the runs are second. So on this one, it says Ren. That's the Renegade. Australia, what? First, first off, you're upside down in the world, and now you, you're backwards here too. Ah, get it together. So that's a, one of the teams. Five for 135. So it's five wickets for 135 runs. So just be careful. Sorry, let me. For those who don't know the meme, I mean, you may not. I don't know. Is it just an American thing? In America, we we make a joke that Australia is upside down. That it's not. It's not right side up, because it's. Not, but I don't I don't know the origin. Does anyone know the origin of things or of memes? I don't know. They just happen and you just use them and then they're just known. They're implanted in your brain. Anyway, careful. It might be confusing. 
some final similarities and differences. All right, that's basically it. I thought that we would end this video with a few more similarities and differences between baseball and cricket. One major difference is that in cricket, if a ball is in play, the runners are not compelled to move, right? You only run if you think you can make a run. One similarity is that every cricket ground has different dimensions and a different shape. I think uh, um, I'm going to talk about this point in a second, but I think that's cool that uh, that's interesting that you don't have to run. I think that's a, a nice um, a, another added strategic thing. Um, so uh, I'll continue. I'm going to talk about this point in a second, but I'll let him finish before I interrupt him again. Shape. And much like in baseball, this means that certain cricket grounds are more favorable or less favorable to different play styles. Another difference is that in cricket... Yeah, so for those who know cricket but not in American baseball, we different fields have different dimensions. Back in the day, you'd have some wild, like, field dimensions, like, 700, like, like, seven, 600 feet to the wall, uh, American feet, I don't know how to convert that right now off the top of my head, um, <laughs> in terms of, uh, other, other units, um, and, uh, but as time has progressed, uh, American baseball stadiums have become a little more uniform, and, like, they don't have weird shapes anymore, like, you still have, like, the very famous like Boston Red Sox stadium where you have the, the what we call the green monster this giant this giant 30 foot wall that's but it's like shorter so it's like if you can get it up it's easier to home hit a home run but you gotta have that crazy launch angle and all that stuff but um generally things have gotten a little bit easier because we like seeing you know uh, we we say folks dig the long ball so you know we we want, it's easier to hit the long ball when, when the wall is shorter. The positions refer to places on the field and not necessarily the individual field. What? That. I feel like even if I got into cricket, like cricket fans, let me know. Like maybe this is easier than I'm silly mid off. Silly mid on? What? How am I? S There's. Do you all know every single part of the field? Or. Why is it silly? It's just right there. Is it like a silly little goose? I don't. I don't understand this naming. Third man. Okay. Short mid on. I. Mid wicket. Okay, that part makes sense. Oh, God. It's like. It's like reading a map of a language that you think you know, but it, it's actually a dream. So you don't know the language, but like, you know what the, I know what these words mean, but this does not help me. Yeah, anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm done. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do like I do in most things in life and give up. Fielders. So if baseball had a similar thing, like you would not be the shortstop for your team. You would just be a fielder who would be playing shortstop position. And then if your team was in a shift or whatever, maybe you would be said that you were in the second base position. Or maybe for one batter, you would be in the shallow mid outfield. So in American baseball, what you see right here uh, is not allowed anymore. They recently changed the rules to prevent this because basically it made hitting a lot harder because in American baseball you you know in cricket you can kind of hit it anywhere but in American baseball like you see this person's a left-hander and you're more likely to pull something so you're more likely to hit it this way and if you're a right-handed batter you're more likely to hit it that way so you might pull and so you if you know different hitters tendencies where like what percentage they hit balls to different places then you can easily like you know adjust it but because of that, players who were getting what would have been hits a long time ago were no longer. So now you, the rules, you, I think these two players have to be on the other side of this bag, and the same with these two players, but they can kind of cheat it. And then outfield, I don't know if they formally change the outfield, but yeah, a little, little, little baseball teaching moment. Field position, right? Another similarity is that in cricket, players on field and off the field behavior is governed by an old fashioned sense of propriety that's not unlike the unwritten rules in baseball. And the final difference that's probably become clear to you as you watch this video is that cricket is a much more international game 
than baseball. I don't mean to say that it is more popular in more countries than baseball, although this might also be true. What I mean by this is that international competitions, so competitions between national teams. That's one thing that I feel like in like America is like missing is like a lot of our sports interests are very regional, which is nice. Like I like clearly I don't mind repping my region. What up, L.A.? <laughs> there are five references in this little this, this is a zoomed in view and there are five references to it. But we don't have as like other than like the Olympics and like maybe like the World Baseball Classic or like these moments where like those kinds of things happen. We don't. We don't watch sports like a country. We watch it like a state or a city or, you know, so many people move to different places. It just kind of be could be just like the a team you liked when you were a kid, like, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever compels someone to be a fan. But um, very rarely are our sports positioned by country. Are the norm. They're not like a special thing that everyone tunes into every four years. Professional cricket is a relatively new phenomenon in the world. And while leagues are becoming much more popular these days, it wasn't very long ago that professional cricket was looked upon as diluting the purity of the game. All right, baseball fans, you have just become a cricket master and you are ready to watch any cricket game that comes. Oh boy, thank you, hot dog. Comes across your television. If you are a cricket fan and you notice that I got something wrong, which I probably have, or that I left something out, which I probably did, feel free to let me know in the comments. Although, all right, I'm gonna stop there, but also let me know in the comments if uh, if any anything I said or any thoughts I added or are just blatantly incorrect, because uh, I, I want to be corrected. I I have a basketball podcast where I have a frequent segment called Bobby is a Dum Dum, where. Uh, it's about me being a dum-dum, so it happens. So, but in terms of this video, I think it does a much better job of explaining it than the previous video I watched. I feel like I have a much better understanding. Um, almost, I feel like almost to the point where I could maybe watch, like match, like a match or highlights of a match. I think I still need to watch a little bit more before, before we get there, but all in due time, all in due time.